Breaking news. Tinubu receives ECOWAS' last option. See what is said that shocked everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a significant development regarding the ongoing political turmoil in Niger, ECOWAS leaders and Nigerian President Bola Tinubu has made a resolute statement. He has clarified that military intervention will only be considered as a last resort once all diplomatic avenues have been thoroughly exhausted. The President delivered this message during a meeting with the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, led by the est the esteemed Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Mohammed Sadi Abubakar the third, at the State House in Abuja. Tinubu stressed the importance of resolving the crisis in Niger through peaceful means, and underlined that forcibly removing a democratic government is unacceptable. Tinubu's stance comes and meets rising concerns over the military takeover in the Niger and potential to set a, a troubling president in the region. He candidly expressed his fears that copycat coups could emerge if swift action is not taken to stabilize the situation. The president did not shy away from acknowledging the devastating consequences of armed conflict, referencing the tragic events in Ukraine and uh, Sudan. His message was clear. Why war is not the desired part? ECOWAS must be prepared to wait the big stick to avert further chaos and instability in the region. In a related development, President Tinubu revealed that he has faced pressure to employ military force against the military junta in Niger. However, he remains committed to seeking peaceful resolutions as a chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of States. Furthermore, President Tinubu has been encouraging with regional leaders to address the Niger, Niger uh, crisis. Comprehensively, he had a meeting with five governors from Nigerian states that share boundaries with Niger Republic emphasizing the importance of collective consultations to navigate this complex situation. As the situation unfolds, President Tinubu's measured approach signifies a balance between maintaining regional stability and preserving democratic principles. The ECOWAS leader's insistence on exhausting diplomatic options before considering military intervention underscores the organization's commitment to a peaceful resolution. It is now essential for ECOWAS and the international community to closely monitor development in Niger while ensuring that the region remains resilient against any further democratic setbacks. The world, wait, the world waits to see how these delicate diplomatic dance of food in the quest for stability in Niger and the wider West Africa region. In another news headline, Nigerians, Nigeria retired generals tell Tunubu to do or else tell Tunubu what to do or else face coup in Nigeria. During a series of successful coup attempts in some other African nations, the generals observed in an interview with Punch that why coups were under, under desirable, people no longer wanted to be taken for granted. The Nigerian government, in the meantime, has played down any concerns of a coup asserting that the nation has advanced beyond a forced seizure of power. 
the government of Nigeria claimed that the recent coups in certain African countries, especially the closed by Niger Republic, did not cause trade in Nigeria. This was said by Mohamed Idris, the Minister of Information and the National Orientation, in the interview with Punch. On Friday, he added, I can tell you that there is no fear or concern at all. Since then, we have moved past it and have been a democracy with a strengthened democratic institutions. Ali Bongo, the former president of Gabon, and his family were placed under house arrest on Wednesday in what was the continent's most recent coup and the country's second since 2023, African Central Region contains Gabon. Alazenda Ugomudia, the former chief of the defense staff, claimed that the coups were a reflection of how democratically elected government ran their countries. He claimed that no one would support a coup against a government that protects the nation's constitution and fulfills its campaign promises. You can't generalize what happened in Gabon to everything that occurs worldwide, he said. Have any of the images of Gabon caught your attention? How long has France been purchasing, purchasing, purchasing nuclear materials from that nation, which is one of the world's poorest? We have a phrase when I come from that goes, if you do anyhow, you will see anyhow. Therefore, whomever was in charge of Niger should be held accountable if he collaborated with the foreigners to destabilize their, their nation. Therefore, it is already being seen. If you have a coup now, I have no suggestions. So guys, I'm dropping it here. You kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.